Hi guys, it's Denny. Alrighty, let's talk a little bit more about spider mites today because this is the main thing I'm dealing with right now and I'm doing my best in searching methods to keep them under control. Now, as you know, I'm doing the neem oil treatment. I'm actually starting to use some rosemary oil simply because, I don't know, the internet says so and why not? I'm just using it. But I'm not exactly happy about how things are working and I'll tell you why. So every now and then I do check my orchids for spider mites with my microscope, you know, that little digital thing, because I can see if the mites are dead, if the eggs are dead and stuff like that. So I took a look at a orchid. This is a Phalaenopsis that I'm experimenting on. All of my Phalaenopsis are actually subjects for experimenting because they're immortal somehow. So actually this is the orchid I took a look at last night and I saw something really disturbing on it and you can see on the screen right now what I saw. This is a spider mite and as you can see it's moving. It's fairly good and alive. There are other eggs as well but I was just focusing on this particular one. So this orchid actually received the treatment with neem oil twice already and I found this guy untouched by the neem oil. And then I thought, well, maybe just got away and came from somewhere else. Or maybe the neem oil is just not that effective, really. So I decided to do a little experiment. Now, as you might know, I do use hairspray for tiny little orchids. The problem is that when you have a lot of orchids and big orchids, it's kind of expensive to buy hairspray. Hairspray actually works on spider mites. But I did a little experiment on this one. So. I filmed that spider mite and then I went and sprayed the heck out of this orchid with hairspray. I covered the leaves entirely, the stem and so on, except the roots. The roots I kept in water actually. And I decided to let it sit overnight. But before I did this, I took another look at that damn spider mite under the microscope. And behold, this is how it looks like. Now, does this look to you like a happy little spider mite? No, it's a very sad looking spider mite because it's dead. So how does hairspray work? It's nothing chemical about it. My viewers were asking me if I think the alcohol has something to do with it. No, I can tell you that spider mites really don't react to alcohol all that bad. I sprayed my orchids with alcohol and then I looked under the microscope and the spider mites were still there. You will not believe the things I put on my poor Phalaenopsis orchids. They survived, but the spider mites survived as well. So how does the hairspray work actually? Well, look at the leaves. Do you see how shiny they are? If you touch them, they're absolutely smooth. So what hairspray does is form a film on the leaf and all the surfaces you're actually applying it to. What this does is actually suffocate the heck out of spider mites. And this is actually how it kills them. Oop, you can see it cracking a little bit here. So it's death through suffocation. It's all mechanical. There's no magic substance to it. This is what I am looking for because this can actually kill eggs as well. Or at least this is what I think. If it forms this film on them, they cannot breathe either. Also, if you leave this film long enough, you can actually delay the hatching and actually the eggs will die, the mites will die inside. So what I did was spray this one last night and kept it like this overnight just to see if the hairspray has any ill effects on the orchid. Keep in mind, the orchid will not be able to properly breathe either. So keeping orchids full of this thing is not a good idea either because you're gonna suffocate them as well. But if you keep them long enough, you're actually gonna kill everything there is on that orchid. And even if there's any spider mites on the outside wanting to come on this orchid, they cannot feed on it because the film is actually really, really thick. So they cannot feed on it either. So they're just gonna move along. And if they stay long enough without food, they're gonna die. So this is actually the only, only method to work. Now in my greenhouse, as I told you, I might use toxic substances. The problem with those is, they're not 100% efficient. If you miss one or two, it's enough for them to develop immunity. And this happens. You're not supposed to use the same substance more than once a year, or actually two applications, uh, because the mice will develop immunity and everything will be useless. So if I miss one single mite, which is a high probability, I'm pretty much screwed over. I cannot use the same substance. The mites will again start to breed because they don't need males to breed most of them are females <laughs> so yeah um so yeah that's the problem and plus they're toxic and i'm 
I'm really wary of toxic things somehow, so yeah, it's not a thing. But just think about this for a second. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna cost me some money, quite a lot of money, but if I get like 10 cans of hairspray, spray all of my orchids, keep them sprayed for five days, I will ensure that all the adults will die, all the eggs will die because they usually hatch in three days in high temperatures or let's say intermediate temperatures, so they will die as well. And if I, I will not spray the roots because, yeah, that, that's not a good idea. But if I keep them in water, spider mites really don't attack stuff that are in water. They don't like humidity, it doesn't kill them, but they don't like it. it they cannot properly breed and leave and feed in water. It doesn't kill them, trust me. I tried submerging my orchids for 12 hours and they, my orchids really didn't like it, but spider mites could not be affected. So, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, I'll go overboard and I'll spray everything with um, the hairspray leave them for five entire days and see what happens. Now, this is 12 hours and I'm not sure how this orchid will react. I'm gonna go wash it right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat the treatment after three days. I'm gonna keep this in the kitchen so it does not get any more spider mites, hopefully. And then we're gonna take a look under the microscope and see if eggs died and stuff like that. And afterwards, after we do this, I'm gonna take another fowl because I do have another fowl with spider mites and I'm gonna keep the hairspray on it for a whole week or five days and see if this takes care of the problem because theoretically it's the best thing that I found. It does not use substances to kill them. It does not use oils to kill them because oils, if they don't touch the mites, they're useless really and I can tell you that even with the neem oil, it just kills them mechanically. It's as easy as that and it's the most efficient. So this is what I'm going to experiment further on. Um, the fowl looks good, I have to say. It's shiny, it's nice, it smells nice, but yeah, anyway, no, I'm gonna wash it out. But if a fowl can handle seven days of this thing on its leaves without actually dying, then we're set, aren't we? We're gonna get rid of spider mites. So alrighty, this is the experiment I'm working on right now. I don't suggest you go and spray your orchids right now. I'm not sure how this will do. I know that hairspray, if you don't leave it too long, will not kill orchids. It's perfectly fine particularly Phalaenopsis, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Spider mites, on the other hand, I can assure you, they die. Okay, I do have another question for you guys. Do you know of any other thing that acts like hairspray? I mean, hairspray is kinda expensive, even if you choose the cheapest brand. If you're gonna use 10 bottles, it's gonna be expensive. And I'm trying to figure out of another liquid that acts exactly like this. It forms this film when it dries and so on. I've been thinking about creams as well. Even if they don't solidify, they will actually really smother the spider mites. I've actually considered dipping my orchids in oil as well. But oil is really hard to remove, really, especially when it solidifies a little bit. Uh, you kind of have to scrub it and I'm uh, not okay with that. But yeah, I'm willing to try that out as well. But I've been thinking of another thing that acts like the hairspray. And I couldn't really, really come up with anything. Something cheaper, something that you can find in bigger containers and so on. Do you guys have any idea? Think mechanical. No substances. It doesn't matter if it has alcohol or not. Just mechanical. All I wanted to do is create this film on the orchid that suffocates the mites and that's all I'm looking for. Nothing oily necessarily. So alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas or what you think about this thing. Because really, this war is not your typical war. So alrighty, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me and stay up to date with the stuff that I do, simply subscribe to my channel. I post regularly and soon I'll move into a greenhouse. And I think I already uploaded the video with how my greenhouse looks now. So if you didn't watch it, just check my channel. It looks beautiful to me. And if you have other questions or suggestions for videos or suggestions in general or whatever you want, tell me. Just leave me a comment down below because I do check them regularly and I reply. If you click on the left side of your screen, you'll be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for joining. I'll see you next time. Bye!